Hello everyone, it is Ivor First and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. So I'm here scouting this base from Butterfly7503. And this person has so many resources, so I kind of recorded this off screen and decided to show it off to you guys anyway that uh, we actually managed to take down a base with over 300,000 resources, which is really great. For this base, I decided to go between the sniper tower and the cannon, so that way we can actually take those down because those two are my main concerns in this base so we took it down and then i start to attack from the left side in just a small moment here but i'm kind of like checking around which base i uh, or at least what building i should destroy after i destroyed it decided to go with the right sniper tower because we cannot really access that and then i throw another artillery shell right in the split middle so that way all of the buildings get taken down and then it's about time in which we're just going to throw out the uh, the units and actually decided to split things out a little bit so that way the heavies actually go on the mines at the same time, you know. You know, the heavies are just great for for taking up the damage for from the mines. The only concern right now is that cannon up top uh, shouldn't really be too much of a trouble. It takes out one or two units, so that's cool. Now I need to quickly flare up the top side because that uh, the flamethrower is obviously going to be a, a little past here. But then it's just a matter of taking it out, so I'm just going to fast forward this so that way you guys can see it. So there you go, the base is down, it is quickly exploding, I'm gonna show you guys the results and what I've been getting, I got two medals of course that will help out tremendously, victory 348,000 medals which is absolutely insane so that means that let's move on to the next base. So this next base is a little bit different, as you guys can see, it's very symmetrical, that means that everything at the left and right side is exactly the same, and I decided to go with the rocket launcher first. In the back of the base there is a boom cannon, which kind of like, I'm always like a little bit alert when it comes down to boom cannons, but in this particular case, I could just shock bomb it in the end, so I decided to actually take out that boom mine over there, as you guys can see, in a couple of seconds, there we go taking out right now and um funny thing with this base was uh because it also has a lot of resources i was like i should take this out uh, at the same time but the barrage barely keeps the machine gun and the sniper tower alive so i kind of am out of energy i kind of want to preserve the rest that i'm having so i just throw in my troops and go straight to the base and you guys will just have to see from your own how this one's gonna go because um it didn't really go as how I expected it to be because the units are right now spreading as you guys can see a few heavies at the left side alongside with two riflemen isn't the most ideal situation but I'm like yeah let's take it out regardless then I kind of realized hey the Zookas are also gonna go there so that way we might be capable of taking out that sniper tower and what would have been the best thing is to throw that flare uh, the moment that building was destroyed at the left side so that way the troops can immediately regroup and take care of the other buildings down there and overall this was a pretty nice raid I didn't really like expect a whole lot from this I thought I was going to lose more units now another thing you should also to keep into consideration is that flamethrower at the right side that is going to be causing some issues now the nice thing about this is that the troops is kind of being gathered to together so that's why I was able to actually drop that uh, med kit was actually a perfect placement when it comes down to the med kit and then I drop a barrage on that cannon over there because of course there's gonna be some buildings in front of there and it's just going to have some free shots I should have probably just taken out the, the flamethrower here uh, but yeah it didn't really cause too much trouble and as I already mentioned before I'm just shock bombing the uh, boom cannon and unfortunately some of my Zookas got taken out. I'm dropping another shock button in there because the boom cannon obviously is the biggest threat in there. And then this is just a matter of things being taken down. And I kind of decided to just show you guys some replays instead of the actual gameplay live. Like I will do plenty of episodes. But I kind of wanted to show you guys some highlights of some interesting bases that I've been encountering. So that being said, the base is blowing up. We're going to get some resources. We have the victory. And there you guys can see 221,000 gold. And and a magma shard so that was a pretty nice raid anyway moving on to the next one this next one was actually quite interesting you guys see all of these buildings like kind of corrupt together and out of those mines uh was kind of intimidating when i saw it at first and then i quickly realized like hey there are some buildings at the left side that are uh, rather weak because as you guys can see the sniper tower and the mortar were pretty low leveled so i was like you know we can just take it off on the left side 
dropping a barrage down there between the cannon and the flamethrowers. So that way we can take down all of those buildings. That entire like area almost gets taken out. Which is a good thing. So I can just drop my artillery shells on there. Between the buildings over there. And then my next one is, believe, uh, next one is uh, I believe, goes between the bank. And I don't even know. What, it's, it's called a gold storage, I think. Uh, and the mortar, I thought. Uh, but apparently I don't do that. And... We actually take out those other builds. It's kind of embarrassing that I misjudged that. I seriously thought it would have been a better idea to take out that mortar. But yeah, I, I suppose I didn't do that. First, I dropped two boats of heavies. So they can soak up all of the damage. I'm not entirely sure why I did that. Because they're going to stop at the residence regardless. So then the rest of the troops are coming along for the ride. And as you guys can see, this should be a quite an easy raid. We can just go ahead go to the left so i'm kind of gathering waiting for the zookas to gather around as well before i start flaring at the left side uh, i don't really have too much of an issue with that and there you go the flares down there i'm not really afraid of those level one buildings over there shouldn't do too much damage of course they're going to be doing some damage at least but yeah nothing too threatening as you guys can see over there Next to the HQ, the mortar is down. I actually took it down with an artillery shell. And after that, it's just one big party for actually taking out the entire bus. Kind of like looking what kind of stuff he has. But there's nothing really all that interesting. So yet again, just go to fast forward this one until we're done. So there you go, the base is taken down, victory from our side, and as you guys can see, over 200,000 gold once again. I'm just showing you guys the high bases, but the next one is actually quite interesting, and I'm going to show it off to you guys. It is Sai, not the Korean pop star singer, but just Sai, and he has a cannon in the works, and I thought to myself, this was a perfect opportunity to kind of inform you guys about what you should keep in mind when you take down a base. It is always in our best interest to take down a base that has a defensive building in the works. It kind of makes that part of the base, you know, weaker. Because you cannot really defend if that cannon is, is currently under construction. So we take out that uh, boom cannon. But I forgot about the rocket launch at the right side. Which kind of sucks. So I decided to actually go for the sniper tower, or tower and of course the cannon which I'll be taking out with, uh, with an artillery shot and of course the mine. It's always great to see uh, and good to see if there's a mine around the other buildings so that way you can just take them along. So that's why I always with barrages I try to aim for boom mines because they're devastating and the nice thing about this base is there's no defenses here whatsoever i can just go ahead and swarm the base and uh i can just take out a sawmill just like that however i think in this base um, I should have dropped the flare a little bit earlier so that way we can actually go to the back of the base because we do get some damage from the mines but regardless of that um it's going to be quite interesting to see what this rocket launch is going to be doing. You know, I already know what it's going to be doing, but I figured it would be a nice thing to show it off to you guys as well. That's also why this base is quite interesting. You should always, like, really take every single building in consideration. Here I'm like, oh, snap, there's a rocket launch over there. What am I going to be doing about that? So, you guys will be seeing. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let the raid show for itself how it's going to be going. And you guys will probably have an idea by now how I'm always doing things trying to avoid things here and there and I'm still here with this rocket launcher so I'm dropping an artillery shot and then I realize I need three shots to actually take this one down so that might be troublesome and then I'm kind of looking like I, I earlier I already said that I was going to be keeping shut but apparently I'm not listening to myself um, I kind of realized because the heavies were there in the front anyway you know that the rocket launcher wouldn't really cause that much of a threat and that being said, the base gets taken down, it goes up in flames, and everything is just exploding right now. I will be getting around 100,000 resources. It isn't all that great, but still a victory nonetheless. And as you guys can see, we needed that wood. That wood was really helpful. So let's move on to the next one. So this next base is the last base I'm going to show you guys. It didn't really have too many resources so that's okay the flamethrower in this one is the one that we should consider and of course the surrounding buildings is also kind of like it's some sort of a different type of base i kind of get the feeling when i see a base like that that the the person had its core kind of set up and then he was like i'm just gonna place this over there and this over there Kind of creates like, uh, for example, the flamethrower is next to the cannon, the mortar is next to the cannon as well. It kind of creates for me an opening and be like, hey, I could just strike from there. So I would always advise you guys to, to not put the buildings 
that close together unless you know you want to use that as a diversion for the rest of the building so i'm just taking down the flamethrower and the sniper tower and then after that it's just a side it's just a part of me in which i'm just going to drop a few heavies over there so it kind of gets i don't even know why i did that um I think I did it on accident, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I'm taking out that uh, that radar over there, and then um, his sniper tower isn't even really that much in range, so I can just go ahead and take down everything. His machine gun is actually quite devastating, it's a higher level than mine, I think it's like level 10 or something like that, it's actually really quite strong, but the strongest two buildings are there in the front, so they're easily to be countered with your full army still intact um, over here is just um, it's just a part where you have to throw a few flares uh, up to the back so that way you can actually swarm the rest of the buildings pick up some gunboat energy while you're at it and uh, then it's just a matter of taking out the base just make sure that you use your shock cannons very efficiently as in here I decided to get all of those three buildings that are closest to me so that way we can actually do some significant amount of damage um, the heavies are gathering up very nicely so I can drop a med kit over there which is a good thing the zookas are kind of like being spread out as well so that is a good thing as well and um, that is a really great way to actually take out a base just like that I didn't really have too much casualties I did get an achievement for conqueror I think that's for 100 bases I think I'm gonna show it off to you guys anyway in just a few seconds but yeah a nice victory we actually did what we wanted to be doing this was the last base in this video I'm gonna show it off to you guys what um what I got conqueror gives me uh, 20 medals uh, 20 diamonds which is quite great and now I have a bunch of resources so I'm kind of like considering what should I be doing of course sculpture is one thing and I decided to go for the headquarters because we can finally do so it goes up to level 13 so I'm quite happy and quite satisfied with that and that's pretty much all I had to do for this episode so I want to thank all of you guys so much for watching I hope this video helps you out in like getting a certain idea about how you can take out bases on different types of ways I really find that the half uh, rifleman and Zuka strategy works really well for me um, it isn't until level 14 I believe until we unlock um, the smoke so it's going to take us a while before we can actually like play well with warriors but for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure that if you guys like this video too boom give it a thumbs up this is our reversal for Moon Beach I'm gonna be signing off and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm also available on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and other social media links. Links in the video description and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for your daily doses of reversalness. Is that even a word?